coming up in my adventure in Japan. Okay. Okay. Mima, 
Alonso. Just right. Fuck me. Just said goodbye to my parents. I want to go to Terminal 2, but my aunt wouldn't let me. That's great. What the fuck? Where's everyone? I can't go anywhere. Okay, we're here. Oh, kill, kill, kill. Time now is um 3.15. We're about four hours schedule late. Let's go. Okay, so here's the gist of what just happened. So this morning it's fucking fucked. Um, I woke up at 6.15 because of the alarm, but of course I saw that I'm like the earliest person to wake up and I know I don't really have don't really need to wake up this early so I decided to go back to sleep and then I ended up waking up again at 7 30 and it's a little too late because everyone wants to leave at 8 a.m. so I was the latest to finish packing I finished breakfast which is like bit of toast and milk and then I just fucking panicked and I've never packed my bags 
I've never packed my bags in such a messy way before. Like, it's... I basically stuffed the fuck out of my luggages. And I had so much shit. I got so many dirty clothes. I got so many souvenirs. And I just fucking stuffed them all into my backpack and my luggage and I could barely zip it close because it's so full. Anyways, it wasn't a very pleasant morning. I hurt my, my pinky and apparently I have to take a train with my cousins all the way from Karuizawa station to Narita airport via Tokyo and it's so messy the tickets are so expensive, I'm not in a good mood, and everything is basically fucked up. Alright, so anyways, the plan for today is, because um, my parents' plane is actually um, at like 12 at noon, so I actually have like five hours to spare and I'm not just gonna wait at the airport of course I have places to go right so oh shit so of course I um you know and, and my mom's like oh yeah you know you can go sure if you have time so of course the original plan is uh, I'm going to at the Narita airport okay so this is so fucking complicated right so we got through four groups of people we're 10 people, right? So we have my aunt and my second aunt and my uncle, uh, my second aunt uh, and her husband. And um, they're going to Niigata. So we said goodbye at the Karuizawa station. She had to drive me and my cousins to the Kar Karuizawa station. And then me and my cousins, us three, we went to uh, Narita airport from Karuizawa station. And um, we don't bring luggages with us because it's annoying to bring luggage with us um, in um, onto the Shinkansen. And then um, after that, it's my dad, mom, and my brother who are sitting in the same plane. And then um, them and my first aunt and my grandma has to go to the airport via car. And so we had to meet up at the same time at 11.30 my luggage is in the car but not everyone's luggage in the car some luggages are uh in the takubin um and they're at the airport waiting already but not mine mine is in the car and so we had to meet up all of us aside from my second aunt and my uncle so me my cousins my brother my mom my dad and my grandma seven people seven people we have to meet up or was that eight uh, eight, eight people we have to meet up and get our luggages back once we do that and then um, we're going to say goodbye to my parents because my parents and my brother will leave first and then afterwards my first aunt was to accompany me and my grandma from terminal one of Narita airport to terminal two because my plane is at terminal two and then so the plan is at terminal two I'm gonna put down my backpack, I'm gonna put down my luggage, and my grandma's gonna wash them for me, and and I'm going to go out and have fun. I'm gonna to go to Tokyo, I'm gonna to go to Madanochi Station, I'm gonna to go to uh, Ginza and explore and have fun for the last time, on the last day. Um, and then afterwards, um, I and my grandma will board the plane, while my aunt and my cousins will take a shuttle bus to Haneda Airport, because their plane is at that airport, which is like, a whole hour and a half away um so uh yeah of course things didn't go as planned um we kept we were so slow at the narita airport um we didn't say goodbye with my parents and my brother until like 1 30 p.m and then i wanted to go to terminal 2 to eat at um uh, yoshinoya because Yoshinoya Hong Kong is fucking pro CCP and I don't want to eat that shit. Yoshinoya and USA fucking sucks. But then of course my aunt doesn't want it because my aunt want all of us to eat at Terminal 1 together. Because apparently going to Terminal 2 is a hassle even though at some point we all have to go to Terminal 2 anyways. Minus my cousins. My cousins can just wait somewhere. Okay, fine. So I ate some katsu curry at Terminal 1. And then it's like 2 p.m., 2.30 p.m. And then we have to come all the way to Terminal 2. <coughs> and then it's already 3.30 p.m. 
like literally right now. Thank God we are able to literally check in right now. We don't have to check in later, but I have limited time. So you know what? I fucking give up. I'm not gonna go to Tokyo now. I'm not gonna go to Tokyo Marunouchi Station. That station is historic, it's iconic. There's no way in hell they're gonna tear it down. So it's fine, I can come back next year or I won't, I won't come back next year. Maybe a couple years later, maybe three years, four years, it's fine, it's still gonna be there. But I'm fucking pissed. I still wanna go out somewhere, okay? Because if I don't go out somewhere, I feel like a fucking sore loser and I don't wanna do that. I have to go somewhere even though I have limited time. So you know what, fuck it. I am going solo right now for the final time because I am going to Narita City. So let's, let's do that. Also, I have to carry my own backpack right now with me. Alright, just got kicked off the bus. Because uh, I wanted to go to Higashi Narita Station, but um, apparently this bus doesn't go. Alright. Or this buzz does, all right. But yeah, so my grandma's going through the customs already. So I'm carrying the bag with me. All right, change of plans. So apparently I can also take, I can also get to Narita station from within the terminal, obviously, so. God damn. I am the home corner of you, yet I stand left. Okay, let's do it boys, one last time. I have to fucking do it. I don't care where I go, I don't care what I do at the place, I just want to fucking go somewhere, okay? Please touch the button of your All right, let's do it, guys. So yeah, essentially, for some reason, the, the airline people allowed my grandma to check into the gate first, which means that if I want to go somewhere, I must carry my backpack with myself. Because my grandma's gonna literally go through the customs. I have to be with my bag. My grandma cannot go through the customs with my own bag. I've arrived, I've arrived at Narita, Air, uh, Narita City. Uh, there we go, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm here just for Family Mart. That's literally all I care about. I don't care about anything else. I, I just realized this, but apparently this is the second time I'm visiting a city all by myself completely.
So um yeah. I don't know. It's kinda stupid it's kinda insane actually, like just the idea that I'm going to uh I'm going to a random city all by myself. Last minute just because I want to buy a drink at Family Mart. Kind of fucking insane, actually. I I'm liking it. <laughs> Honestly, there's nothing great to see here in Narita. I'm just here to, to to have some alone time. I don't know. I just I just think um I had a lot of fun in this Japan trip, but I'm also angry and upset like 40, 30 to 40 percent of the time, and that's because. There's people around me, and I'm not used to having so many people around me. I mean, back in LA, sometimes I would go out with the church folk, and I would hang out with JT, Pepper, and Potter, but not for 10 days straight? This is just, you know, too much for me. And 10 people, like 9 other people. Alright, well, like I said, it's... I don't even really, like, it's not that necessary for me to go to to visit Marunoichi station, like, today. There's people behind me. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Let's, uh, let's go get a drink at Family Mart. Can't find caramel latte. find caramel latte but I got cafe latte which is similar I guess and then I can't fucking open the plastic top so I just smashed it with a wooden splinter until it fucking cracked open and coffee spilled all over my hands I don't even drink coffee I don't know what I'm doing let's try this out I added shit tons of cinnamon sugar in so hopefully it tastes good Right outside of Lawson's too. <laughs> yeah, it's actually nice. Maybe it's because it's not like it's not too much caffeine. It's just um very milky and kind of sweet. Very light. I like it. There we go. This is my final day in Japan. You know, I was like, you know, it's fine if I don't go to Tokyo today. Um, at least I visited Tokyo Station, you know, technically. Um, my grandma's kept on saying, like, oh, you'll come back next year, right? You told me you'll come back next year. I, I'm not gonna fucking come back next year. In fact, I won't fucking come back 
straw just sinked. Okay, one of the, I guess, a downside to this is that the straw is too short. I'm gonna go. Get, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go get a longer straw. All right, let's explore this side. You know what? The cool, the the most fun thing you do is really to walk and talk while drinking coffee in the middle of some random city in Japan. Um, no, but I'm not gonna come back next year, okay? I'm not, in fact, I'm gonna stay in LA. I'm not even gonna go back to Hong Kong or, or whatever. I'm not gonna come back at all. You know, fuck it. So, um, yeah. Wow, there is a plane. Oh no, just um, closing, touching notes. Touching notes, final touches. Final notes. Last notes, I don't know. Um, I just really need rest. I feel like one of the reasons why I've been so tired and... Again, it, it feels... This trip feels really upsetting, but then if you think about it, every time I, I've gone solo, okay, I went to Shinjuku or whatever, road. every time I've gone solo, you know, I went to Shinjuku or Asakusa or Takasaki yesterday, it's fun, I enjoy being alone because I'm used to it already. You know, in LA I'm always alone, even though probably not anymore. But um, I'm used to being alone already. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun doing this shit, though. I have no, I don't have a map right now. I don't know where I'm going. I I don't know anything about uh, Narita City. I'm just walking just randomly. Whatever. I'm not gonna die. Pepper doesn't die, I won't die. We should saying something. This is actually a pretty crazy thing to, for me to say because I'm usually the kind of person who would say, oh, if Mary dies, if, if, if I die, Mary wouldn't die, you know? But I just, I don't know, I just, I don't know. Nice, nice area though, even though it's not very touristy. It's a nice, it feels like a pretty nice, peaceful place to live in. I also, I've also given up on the candy quest, like, um, the red sakuma drops, they pretty much cease to exist already. That's fine. I think the fact that I've found green cans of Sakuma drops in two supermarkets is already really impressive. There we go. Narita. I'm right here. It's funny they got Thai. You know, they, they're expecting some Thai tourists as well. That's where the good stuff are. But unfortunately, I'm not going to go all the way here. I'm gonna walk back right now, in fact. My wrists are also hurting. Just twisting the camera and pointing it to my face right now. It's actually hurting. All right, let's go back. You know, this also makes me realize I've actually gone to five prefectures in Japan, not four, uh, as of this trip because of uh, Chiba Prefecture. That's right, it's official now. Seventy. Yeah. 
The train will come until like 4.44 p.m. So I'm like waiting for like 15 minutes. Look at this Avatar poster by the way. <laughs> Final time. Okay, I need to uh, go through customs. Um, but first, I need to find a bathroom to th throw my water away. Oh, should be easy. Mission accomplished. Now, let's get to gate 95. There we go. There we friggin' go. Okay, custom success here, gate 95. Let's let's go. I'm back at this place again. Why am I here? What is this? What is this? Okay, gate 95 should be here. Alright, I see it now. I see gate 95 right ahead. Great success, I've arrived at the gate and I've met up with my grandma. I'm just gonna buy my grandma a drink or something and then um, we can go. It's funny, cause I just drank coffee. I went all the way to Narita just to drink coffee. I'm a, I'm a bit of a mad lad, what can I say? It's a shame I completely forgot to um, film myself talk during uh, Narita City using my own phone and upload it as a sneak peek for my YouTube channel Not that I would have had the time to upload it anyways It's probably gonna take a while given how slow the Wi-Fi here in the airport is I don't know and It's also a shame I never got to try Yoshinoya Gyudon Though if I forced myself to eat it now, I probably wouldn't enjoy it all that much because I'm not even that hungry Kind of my appetite sort of ruined by that katsu rice, which is not bad and it's good because I've never had katsu rice um, in Japan so far until today oh. <laughs>
Alright, time now is 1.58 a.m. in the morning uh, in Hong Kong time. I'm back in my room once again. I'm extremely tired. This is a fucking mess. I didn't film a lot, but um, it's really quite a mess here. Um, There's like a mask hanging here. My brother's books are all over here, and then there's shit. There's like a whole small cabinet over here, and it's all fucking ruined. My green chair is gone again. My green stool. Um... And it's so late at night and I'm really tired and I won't be able to set up everything tonight. I just want to go to bed and sleep. Everything's a f so fucking dirty. Um, but yeah, this is, this is it. This is my, um, Japan trip. Great. Cockroach, what a fantastic way to greet me when I return home. Alright, it's 2.43 a.m. in the morning. Um, I've... I haven't settled down, okay? The luggages are still outside of the apartment door, and my family will wipe it down tomorrow, and then I'll continue to bring stuff out. But right now, I've basically settled down all the essentials, all my charging stuff, um, just my room in general, <laughs> my key over here. You know, I cleaned up everything, I wiped down everything, um, the doorknob, the steps everything um i got mostly everything really for real the camera um my earphones over here um so yeah i'm just gonna wrap it up um hectic day not a very fantastic day actually again morning started off quite terrible hurt my hand twice i hurt my pinky finger again on the shinkansen from Karuizawa to Tokyo Station. I don't know what the fuck happened. It's just suddenly bled a lot. Like for the first injury, a little lower here. It's like I injured myself and it's obvious, but it didn't bleed at all for some reason. It just avoided all my capillaries. And then the second cut, I didn't even notice and it bled all over my fourth finger. Also, my second finger nail is kind of fucked. I have more acne on my face for some reason. Maybe it's because of the lack of sleep. But yeah, I'm extremely tired. Um, <coughs> I'm going to take a shower and go to bed now. I've changed the SIM card on my phone. Um, the American SIM card. I can't wait to settle everything down tomorrow and do the best memes video. And um, um, you know, watch movies and animes and just rest tomorrow. That's really the whole thing. In fact, I'm not going to plan much for this entire month because I don't want to. I want to just focus on resting and uni app and the short film that I want to make. And that's pretty much just it. That, that, that's pretty much just it. Um, yeah, I can't talk real loud because there are other people in this apartment. Um, and um, good trip, I guess. Subscribe if you want more.